Hello, my name is Rachel Reisner and I'm a certified professional pet center in Montreal, Canada. I'm here today with Bobby, who's being very affectionate, and I'm going to talk about pet water fountains. So this is an issue I've noticed uh, has happened several times, so I'm not singling out any one client. It's, I've, ha I've noticed this happening a number of times, is that um, clients will buy these beautiful uh, pet water fountains and then uh, they don't realize that actually they have to be taken apart. For example, this comes out and you have to scrub this part and also this disassembles as well. So you have to scrub all of these parts with soap and water. And also that this part also contains a um, filter that has to be replaced every, um, the manufacturer recommends replacing it every one to four months, but I've never seen a um, water fountain, pet water fountain filter last longer than three weeks. So I would actually recommend um, myself is replacing it roughly every one to three weeks, maybe even every one to two weeks, depending on how um, dirty it gets, how many pets are using it, if they're, um, if they're the sort of cat that likes to paw the water and they get lots of cat litter in there and food as well you might want to change it more frequently because actually when i first uh started this this particular pet uh sit this filter and this tube were covered in a very slimy brown gunk and i don't even want to think about <laughs> how long that gunk has been on um, this and also having the water pass through this very dirty filter and the pet owner thinking that they're giving their pets the freshest, cleanest water and actually it's um, uh, really unsanitary. So uh, when I go to pet uh, sits, um, I'm a professional cat sitter, one of the first things I do is that I disassemble and scrub out the water fountain so that I know that it's totally clean my standards um, during the pet sit and then if there's an issue like for example if I if it seems pretty clear to me that the owner had no idea that there was a, um, a filter that needed to be replaced and I do point that out to the pet owner or I ask them um, I try to be as tactful as possible I ask them um, if they have replacement filters because maybe they just um, let it go for a little bit longer than it should have and um, and so I scrub out the whole um, the whole uh, water fountain. But it's not difficult to do, you just take it apart. I think that um, a lot of clients are probably worried about breaking their water fountains, particularly when they're made out of plastic. So they do have some metal water fountains, and I've seen some that were also ceramic as well, but most of the parts are plastic. For example, this model comes in metal, stainless steel, but the um, center tubal part is still plastic. So that is something that you still need to uh, unscrew, scrub, and then reassemble and screw back in place. But it's um, very straightforward. This particular model is very sturdy, so I wouldn't worry about, um, you know, breaking off little pieces that are easy to break off because this is a, a fairly well-made uh water fountain a number of my clients use this one and i haven't seen it break yet except maybe this little part but anyway um <laughs> don't be afraid of your water fountain the whole point of why you got it is so that your pet can have constantly running water and also that they can have nice clean fresh water so you want to make sure that that water is actually clean and fresh and i would recommend uh disassembling it and scrubbing out your water fountain every every few days. I do it every other day when I do a pet sit and even um, I might even do it every day if um, I see that the water fountain is particularly dirty. Uh, if you neglect your water fountain or your water bowl dishes for your pets, it can lead to urinary tract infections and other health problems, which lead to very costly veterinarian bills that are easily preventable. And um, uh, as another scare tactic as well, is that um, when um, cats do have urinary tract blockages and urinary tract crystals, sometimes they have to be switched to special urinary tract foods as well, which is also more expensive. So you can easily prevent that, uh, will help to prevent that. Sometimes, I mean, there are other factors there as well, but one way that you can help to prevent these issues in your pet is to regularly wash out um, 
your uh, pet water fountain with soap and water and just give it a nice thorough um, wash, rinse it out very well and just maintain it. It also makes it easier to keep clean if it is clean already, mostly, because it's much harder if you let it go for say a week and you haven't touched it and then you have to scrub out the, um, the biofilm that sort of dries out as well as hard water deposits and other things that sort of gunk up. And then you really have to scrub at it with a, um, like a, a bristly scrubber. So that makes it much more difficult than if you uh, maintain it regularly with a light wash with soap every couple of days. So I hope that was helpful. Um, and again, this is, it's not very difficult to reassemble. It's just this filter goes into the tube. And this part goes on, screws on to the top, I think. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. Nope. Wait, maybe? Nope. Nope. Okay, anyway. <laughs> but you can do it. At, I was trying to remember to bring my, uh, my tripod with me. Back. Okay, yes, I did it. Good. That part goes on. Then this ring goes on top. Just squeezes on. And then the top part just fixes on as well and there you have it and then you just put it back on top oops then you just put it back on top see it fits well and this part um the bottom, I'm kind of looking through the finder thing there we go it locks on easily as well and see how I did this all one-handed since I'm holding the camera with my other hand so it's not very difficult and again you can disassemble it with one hand as well I'm more than happy to um, demonstrate this in person if a client wants me to do that because, um, you know, this is an everyday maintenance thing for your pets. So, uh, you know, you don't want to be scared of your, your, um, your pet accessories. <laughs> it should be easy. It should be second nature. You should just be able to do it. Don't be scared of breaking it. You should enjoy having it. It's really cool to have running water. I mean, it'll help, uh, with the humidity level in your home. So maybe you can do with one less humidifier in your home. Sounds very pleasant to have running water. And um, I think your pet will enjoy it as well. So thank you for watching. My name again is Rachel Reisner. I'm a pet sitter in Montreal, Canada. Please um, like, subscribe, share, and comment on this video if you liked it. And I would also love to hear your suggestions for um, any future videos. Thank you again and have a great day.